Okay, network DDE. Uh, we're going to go ahead and disable this item. If the service is running, select stop. And then select disabled as it's currently disabled on mine. <clears throat> the same goes for network DDE DSDM. Open the item. If the service is started, select stop and change the startup type to disabled and select OK. All right, of course, I need my virus protection. NTLM security support driver. We can go ahead and uh, disable this item. If the service is running, select stop and change the startup type to disabled and select OK. All right, let me move the window down just a bit. Performance logs and alerts. Uh, we can go ahead and, of course, the service is stopped on mine and set to manual. I'm going to go ahead and disable this item. If the service is running on yours, once again, select Stop and Disabled. We'll do a couple more here and then have you uh, restart. Uh, portable Media Serial Number Service. Uh, we can go ahead and disable this. If the service is running, select Stop. Under the startup type, select disabled and choose OK. QoS RSVP. OK, we can disable this uh, entry. Uh, this is quality of service stuff for programs that uh, work over the uh, internet or a network. Uh, we don't currently need this, so if the service is running, select stop and change the startup type to disabled. Now would be a, time, a good time to go ahead and restart your computer, uh, check your software, make sure everything you use is functional. <clears throat> then once you do that you can uh, re-invoke the uh, services uh, menu by choosing start, run, and typing in the services.msc and selecting OK or Enter. Be sure to write down that you, the last place you left off at the QoS RSVP, which if you're writing down uh, the services we're disabling, uh, you'll have that entry available. Okay, Remote Desktop Help Session Manager. Uh, this we can go ahead and disable. Of course, it's currently stopped on mine and set to manual. Uh, on yours, the service will probably be running, so go ahead and select stop and change the startup type to disabled. Okay, remote procedure call locator. We can go ahead and disable this item. Once again, stop the service, then select Disabled under Startup Type. Removable Storage. <clears throat> um, if you use removable storage, uh, such as uh, USB drives or, or such, or uh, USB or FireWire uh, CD or DVD drives. Uh, the safest thing to do for this entry uh, is uh, select the startup type as manual. That way the service can run uh, if it's needed, but it will not run during startup. So you can go ahead and stop the service, change the startup type to manual, and select OK. Uh, 
Um, I, I did forget to mention for the remote procedure call, I apologize for this. This as well should be set to manual just in case you do need that service and select OK. Routing and remote access. Okay, this is uh, another entry that you would not need. Uh, stop the service and select the startup type as disabled and select OK. Secondary logon. Uh, this is another entry we will not need. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and stop the service, change the startup type to disabled, and select OK. Do remember if at any time I'm, I'm going too quickly, uh, you can pause the video or rewind to review what we last went over. Security Accounts Manager. Uh, we don't need this. We can go ahead and it's it's uh, uh, says it started on mine. We're going to go ahead and uh, change the startup type to disabled and apply. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and change. Uh, this one to manual just in case and select OK. Smart card. Uh, this is one. Uh, these are typically uh, uh, government uh, type services uh, for smart cards. Uh, we can go ahead and stop the service and select disabled. SSDP Discovery Service. Okay, uh, this is another entry that you will not need uh, typically. Uh, so you can go ahead and test this by stopping it, changing the entry to disabled, and selecting OK. Of course, all of my semantic entries I will.